so today we're going to talk about the VTEC Master Video Painter. It's a follow-up to the uh, PC Computer Limited, which was the desktop PC, um, which was basically a learning computer by VTEC. Uh, that was for age 9 and up. This one's slightly different, it's for age 5 and up. But it's um, part of a series they did. This one allows you to electronically bring your imagination to life. It enhances your drawings. You can select background colors, create your own three and five frame animations. And it says hours of creative fun on your TV. It's got drawing tools and editing tools, and it allows you to paint or draw rather, more like via a stylus with your color palette down the right hand side of the tablet there and again this one's for PAL, it's for a PAL UK system I'm sure they there was various other differently named systems for NTSC and CCAM so we're going to have a look at the VTEC Master Video Painter Okay, so this is the unit itself. It has it's quite a big unit. It's um it's probably getting on for probably four hundred millimeters across and it's um it's quite quite a bit of weight to it as well, so it's obviously um it's got most of the electronics packed into this unit itself. Um on the left hand side you have buttons which is your on off switch. Undo, clear, animation, there's a game, cartridge, and a button called mark lock. Um, you've got left and right mouse buttons on the bottom. And then you have a range of colours down here, which um, you touch to change the colour on the screen. And it's basically a... A pad very similar to um, an architect's pad where it's um, a little bit of a pressure mounted system where you run the pen across which is on the side which you unclip here and then whatever you write on here corresponds on the on the screen itself you also have text modes music modes so it has sound with it and you've got pen paint brush and you've got cut and paste which is really what Microsoft Paint is. It's not a lot of different to the virtual Microsoft Paint but it's in a kind of a tactile form. As well as the pen you get a few leads with the machine you get the obligatory 9 volt power, which everything seems to work on that VTEC made on a 9 volt system. It's not switchable, it's just basic 9 volt system. And you have a SCART lead. It also has RF on it as well. And along with that, you also get VTEC CD Interactive Guide, which was stuff that you could buy either for this, for the paint systems, you could have various other things called Smart Keys, Sound Learning, and all the products they've sold along with it. Along with the guide, you have a video painter user's manual and it's not a bad manual as manuals go it's um, probably something that the average five or six year old would never want to read but it covers plugging it in which way to connect the audio out and um, some helpful hints as well as your tools that you have with the machine okay. so it's never going to be something a, a young child is going to read. So it's going to be basically up to your parent or your parents to read it and then um, try and help out when the child or, you know, the young boy or girl gets stuck. 
So that's your basic hardware. So next we're going to get it all connected up and we'll um, see how it works. OK, so we got the um, video painter or the master video painter set up and it's running off SCART and so we're just going to power it on. OK, so it's got audio, sound, and it gives you a demonstration of what it can do. not the fastest thing in the world it does glitch a little bit but overall you get the impression of what the machine can do a little bit of animation So there's your master video painter and now it just loops and then picks another scene and shows you again what you can do. So let's start. Now that tune is incessant, it just keeps on going on and on and on. Suppose after the first five minutes, you know, the novelty kind of wears off a little bit. So I'm just going to turn the volume down. Now it's just like paint, okay, so you want to use a brush or yeah, an airbrush, select your airbrush, you press the left mouse button or pad button and then you position your aerosol wherever you want it to be and it's literally hold the button down and then start spraying. Now if you want to change the colour, the whole border changes colour to give you an idea of what colour it's going to be. And then again you position your mouse and you start painting. Again change it. And then if you want to change it to just a pen, again it's press the left button and then it says you've selected it. And then you can position your pointer wherever you want, press the left button again. And then write whatever you want or draw whatever you want, whichever way you want to do it. You've also got fill, which is just use the normal fill command. If you want to change it to a different type of fill, you just Select the square beside it, you get the bigger paintbrush there. Select the button and then again move wherever you want to put it. And then when you want to fill something in, this is probably going to do the whole screen, press the button. And it's very, very similar to 
you know, early versions of paint really. It's just literally Microsoft Paint in a plastic form. If you want to add text, ABC button, move your mouse to whichever character you want. Press the button which on whatever you want to select. And then there you go, you put your H or whatever letter you've decided to pick. And you can carry on by selecting maybe different colour and a different character. And once you've positioned it, there we go. And you just carry on and on like that. And as I say, it's not bad. It's just, it's just a, a basically a, um, a bit of a toy for children to learn on it. It's, it's similar to what you can do on, on paint or, you know, the, any other similar sort of basic paint package. Now, you can add in your music. So on the musical score, it's just literally move your pointer around, select the note you want, and then move it onto the bar. Press the key to settle it down, get to your next note, move it onto the bar, settle it down, press the next note. move it onto the bar and so on and then move down to play okay and I'll just do that again press play and then you build up your musical composition using the characters on the top and again it's quite an interesting way of getting children introduced to music if you make a mistake you can erase it you can loop the sound or you can alter the volume once you're done press the play button and basically that adds into your whatever you're going to draw or sketch on here and then you just work your way through the pad like that and just make your own little compositions so let's see how um the child gets on with it. <laughs> two colours to spray. That have two colours to spray. <laughs> wiping some away, wiping some away. Oops, white. White to rub out. See me? Spray. Okay. Use white. <coughs> where's, the, where's the rubber? What other things can you rub with? This, you can rub with that. <laughs> Why? Oh, 
really use a rubber here. Did you know that there was a rubber? <laughs> this is the same rubber from from the music rubber. I think it came here. Why is it getting darker? Do you like this one? Yeah. <clears throat> Do you like the paint one now? Yes. Yeah. Music! I like all of them. Do you know that I like all of them? Music! <laughs> More music. One line scaring them. One line is scaring them. Actually, four lines scaring them. I like scaring them. Um, five little lines scaring them in the lake. Okay, so it seems like the um, VTEC Master Paint System is a resounding success, as you can tell by the reaction of um, a child using it. Um, Obviously, with a, a little bit of a child's imagination, it becomes quite a wonderful thing to use. So, they seem to have hit the nail on the head with this, and it is a completely and totally useful thing, even almost 20 years on since it was first introduced. Thank you for watching, and if you like what you've seen, please subscribe. If not, have a nice day, and um, there'll be more content coming soon. Thank you.